I'm Nicole Spittler of All Designs Equine, and today we're going to be making a Western Saddle succulent wreath. I haven't done this one before, so I'll be making it in front of you, but I have done in the past another video on a different Western Saddle. So um, my normal Western Saddle DIY just comes with the patterned and painted Western Saddle and these cute little details but it does not come with the Western stirrup or the Lariat. Although I do actually have an option for something a little more plain like this with the lasso and the Western stirrup. So that's another option. And then you can add your own flowers. So I have some different um, options for you, or you can obviously buy this completely decorated. So I took a real lariat rope and I cut off about a two and a half, three foot section, actually made a, a little mini lariat, and then I wrapped it with rope. Um, I did, before I wrapped it with rope, I did put cable ties to really ha have it stay together. And then I just actually wrapped the rope around the horn like a real Western saddle with a lasso. It's a kind of cute little detail. I try to make this Western saddle wreath with these really cute little details that are almost authentic. It does kind of look like you could ride in this little thing. So actually, as soon as this is stapled on and adhered well, I'm going to just take a little piece of styrofoam and glue this here. The styrofoam itself is actually going to kind of place the lariat where I want it. So I want to figure out, do I want it back here more? Do I want it hanging here more? It's kind of just personal. So I think I'm going to go with this kind of a placement here. Okay, I'm gonna glue this on real well. And then I'm going to put the, this real Western stirrup on. This is a smaller one, but it is actually real leather. And I actually have this um, braided faux leather looking trim that I got from Joanne Fabrics. So I wrap that around and then I feed it through this little hole that I have in the saddle. Really big stirrups kind of take away from cuteness of this little saddle because they're just kind of like overwhelm it. So I try to find these little ones or what works really well are little um, kid stirrups. So this is actually an adult stirrup but it's a smaller one than normal. So I feed this through and then I staple it as I always do everything. You see my stapler is a disaster has glue everywhere, so I have to staple it in a couple different places. Because this is pretty heavy. And then I will put glue on it, but I'll do that later because as soon as I flip it over, it's gonna glue to my paper, which is annoying. Okay, so now that we've got that done, we are going to start adding our layers of greenery. You know how I like to layer greenery. And we're going to do it like a little kind of a loose bow tie. And by that I mean we're going to have like this side of the bow tie. Let's see if I can find some better greenery here. And then this side. And then the middle, of course, is going to be where it would be tied. Okay. And then I'm going to use my favorite brown fern foliage. And that's a little bit big. So the thing about this saddle, it's so cute. I don't want to cover up all the details. So I'm probably going to actually cut away some of this greenery so that it doesn't take away from the cuteness of the saddle. I mean, this is supposed to be cool, not cute, but I can't help but say that it's actually cute. 
It's quite a large wreath, but obviously it would be an itty bitty little saddle. <laughs> okay, go on the other side. And then we're gonna add, I think this dusty greenery. So this wreath um, is going to be like the deserty, dusty colors, like the desert. And it's going to be a little smaller floral than I thought because, like I said, it'll just overwhelm the entire wreath. Okay. So, like I said, this is the side of the bow tie and this will be where it's actually tied. And I have a couple of different little cute focal. You can usually, you know, you can use one flower as a focal or you can use three as a focal, but something where the weight of the, the visual weight of it is in the middle. So I think I'm gonna use both of these hope I like it. So I'm kind of committing to it by gluing it in. And I'm going to go this way. And I think I've mentioned in past videos, you can also, you know, your focal flower can be facing up, but sometimes I like to have them in different directions. It's kind of just depends on the mood that I'm in or what I feel will look good and I do change it up every once in a while. Now I do have this, which is kind of a nice little dusty um, eucalyptus, and that actually is not a desert flower, but I guess eucalyptus is kind of maybe a desert flower. I didn't really think about it that way, I'm not sure actually. But I like the little pink and the light, soft, dusty green, so I'm gonna use it whether it is or not. I actually think it is now that I said that. And then I'm going to use this bigger flower, which will be the main thing. Let me see how I want it. Could go sideways like that. Could go up. I don't really know how I like it. I think I'm gonna go down. Maybe like that. Okay. So this whole thing in the middle is really going to be where the focus is. Okay. And then I have these cute little, I don't know what these are all called, but definitely gives a nice Arizona type feel. And then I have this really cool, I have no idea what these are called. Somebody might know. I don't know where I want to put it, so I'm just going to kind of play around and see if I want to cut it apart, which I might do because it's so large. Maybe I'll just kind of have it coming out here. So it's not very symmetrical. So sometimes we like things to be symmetrical and sometimes we don't. In a way it's symmetrical, but it's not exact. So it's more diagonal, but it's not perfect. Sometimes when something looks is perfect, it actually looks weird <laughs> because let's face it, in nature, things aren't always growing perfectly. They're kind of growing in different ways. So you can almost think about this as like a little mini geranium on your saddle. Okay. So, and just to add a couple, you know, I like the wood flowers. I was going to add this and this is not. We could add this. So I'm going to cut this because I like the dusty purple. I'm gonna put that in there. Maybe this way, yeah, we'll do that. Okay, I'll glue that in. 
So sometimes I don't commit because I'm not sure how it's gonna look. And then we'll take this this way. And then I think I'm gonna add a couple wood roses and I think we're done. It is done. There's a whole bunch of glue everywhere, but it's really fast. Once the actual Western saddle is done, this design is quick. Okay. And the thing about that's kind of nice about the wood flowers is it breaks up the heaviness um, with a natural wood look, but it's not it's kind of giving um, relief from all the other flowers. Sure. Sometimes after I'm done with these videos, I change things. Because it is kind of like, it's hard to actually design things and talk. That's why sometimes I'm slow. I'm not a slow talker, <laughs> believe me. But because it's different sides of your brain, Creativity is different than your talking side of your brain. So it's always like if I'm painting and somebody wants to talk talk to me on the phone, I'm like, I can't talk to you and paint because my brain will not work. <laughs> so it is a little bit of a skill to do both things. But okay, so there we are. It's a little cute Southwestern wreath. This little little dude so anyway all right folks and I will see you next week if you like this video I would love it if you would give it a thumbs up and like comment subscribe to my channel that would be awesome thank you so much and I will see you soon